Today I'm working on my garage and putting some shelving up here so that I can clean up the general mess that we've got going on. Uh, when you're looking for shelves and you're going to be putting shelves in your garage or another space, there are a ton of different options for what you can do. Uh, you can get freestanding ones, uh, all sorts of different pre-designed kits and things. Uh, but sometimes simple is the best. And so what I did is I uh, just went and purchased some 2x12s uh, from the local lumber yard. And the, those 2x12s are 20 feet long and they came in right at around $30. And uh, for $30 a piece, we have these super heavy duty uh, shelves that are going to last forever. Now, the nice thing about using uh, dimensional lumber for your shelves is that if you ever don't need the shelves anymore, you have a very useful piece of wood that you can be that can be put to use doing something else. So um, it just kind of is a really easy way to be able to, um, for sure, utilize the material that your shelves are made out of forever. Now the brackets that I used here are these metal brackets that are holding these two by twelves up. Metal brackets like this are perfect for holding these things up. Uh, what I would pay attention to when you buy yours is to make sure that you buy them that are considered to be heavy duty or probably at least a 200 pound or 250 pound capacity or more. Uh, these things run uh, anywhere from around $5 to even $3 a bracket and so they're pretty reasonable. Uh, these brackets that I'm using, I had these already. I think these are only rated for a little over 100 pounds or around 100 pounds per bracket. And so they're not quite as heavy duty as maybe I would have chose if I was picking them out for this application. But that still gives me a pretty significant capacity all the way across. I have six brackets on each one of these. Now the other nice thing about dimensional lumber is that we're not going to have any sagging in between these. These are heavy enough boards that we don't need to put brackets every 16 inches or every 24 inches in this case because these are 24 inch on center. So I'm just putting a bracket once every 48 inches. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I've got one more shelf here that I might install. I was going to put it up here at the top edge, but I think I might put it on the back wall here. I'm not totally decided on that yet, but your installation process is very simple. You uh, mark on the wall, going across, mark on one end, and then mark on the other end, and snap a line on the on the wall to make it a little bit easier. And then just mount your brackets on the wall first, and then you just slide your board up on top of the brackets, and you're ready to ready to go. You just have a couple of screws in here, one here on this very back edge that's just to keep this shelf from flipping forward, and then one here on the front just to provide a little bit more stability. And then here I used uh, about two and a half inch uh, Torx screws to hold those brackets in place. So just don't overload your shelves and uh, you'll be just fine. So. so that's pretty much it. Now I can organize my pile of goodies here onto the shelves. Uh, I actually have to insulate this garage, so that's going to be upcoming. But I needed to get something up on the wall quickly here so I can get stuff out of the way so that I can work on the car. Still have to work on putting the Mustang engine in. So uh, let me know what your experience is with shelves and any tips and tricks that you might have or what has worked well for you. Share it down in the comments. I would be interested to hear any advice that you might have. So uh, that would be fantastic. And yeah, if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Uh, the garage is very much a work in progress here. Um, but little by little, we are getting projects done around the place. So, skid loader is still broken. This is Friday afternoon. This video just happened just now. So, this is a very live update. How's it going, man? Good. All right, what are you going to tell everyone? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And... Thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for hanging out on the channel. And just for, yeah, chilling out with us from time to time. I'm trying to put up more videos more often, as you've probably noticed. A lot of the videos that I'm putting up are backlogged videos. I've taken footage, and uh, basically a lot of the time when I had to take multiple shots 
of different things that requires video editing and video editing requires time and time is scarce so I'm trying to go through and actually upload some of those now uh, but anyway so this is a little bit more of an update style video but I'm gonna try to do a little bit more update style videos let me know if you want to know more about what's going on alright we'll talk to you in the next video